Welcome to another episode of Hugo Smokes. I'm your host Hugo. Today is January 1st and this will be my first review of 2024. I hope everybody had a great New Year's Eve and I wish everybody the best, good health and prosperity overall. Today I'm going to be smoking the La Colmena Black Honey by Warp Cigars. And this is a 5x48 Belacoso with a Ecuadorian Habano Oscuro wrapper, Ecuadorian binder, and fillers from the uh, Dominican Republic and Nicaragua. I'm pretty excited to smoke this cigar. Um, as a lot of you may know, there's been a lot of hype uh, be because of this release. Uh, the previous release was in 2017, so it's been six years. And I believe prior to that, there was a release in 2015. So for that, I'm excited. I actually acquired a box of these. Before I go ahead and start smoking this stick, let's take a closer look at it. Okay, let's take a closer look at this cigar. So first, let's see what the, sh what the color is on the wrapper. Um, based on this chart, it looks like it's going to be a colorado, which is that one there. And the shape, I hear it's a combination between the pyramid because of the tip. And lengthwise, the robusto or campana. Okay. Let's take a closer look at the wrapper. Nice and silky wrapper. I don't see any deficiencies. It's got a packed foot. Cuban style triple cap. Just gorgeous. All right, let's take a look at the humidity inside. That's coming in at 63.964. at the tip, okay. All right, let's cut it up and light it up. Today I'm gonna be using my V cutter. Link is in the description for this one. Um, I typically tend to use a straight cut guillotine uh, cut on all my cigars, even even torpedo shape, bellicoso shape, um, just because I think the straight cut gives it more functionality. Um, the V cut, you know, it's to me, it's more for aesthetics. Um, it also it does preserve the uh, the cone shape on the cigars. Um, but since this is a, by the way, this is a twenty two dollar MSRP cigar, so it's not a cheap date. Um, so I want it to look good. All right, let's get this cut up and lit up. go nice clean cut all right uh, the draw is medium it doesn't have an exceptional draw and like I had a feeling because of the foot is so packed but let's see let's see how it performs hopefully it doesn't affect the performance me using my dual torch flame today.
All right. So, right off the bat, it's a very smooth, um, semi-arid, silky smoke. The retrohale is exceptionally smooth. There is zero stinging on the sinus. There is no signs of, of pepper at all. It's a tasty, creamy, sweet tobacco. I almost want to say it's, there's a little bit of a honey aftertaste. Okay, there's not a lot, a lot of smoke. I would say it's like a medium smoke quantity. Um, I kind of had a feeling it was going to be like that, but hopefully it keeps on burning uh, good. And um, yeah, so let me get this smoke past the first third and I'll be back. Stay tuned. Welcome back. I'm at the end of the first third and as you can see the burn line is a bit wavy but it's pretty even within itself the ash is nice and stacked nice white ash uh, smoke production is still moderate The retro hail is still so smooth. Um, definitely, even a beginner can retro hail this cigar. Um, there was a little bit of a nicotine kick. Uh, I, I would say within the first five minutes of smoking the cigar, but it, that's died down. Um, as far as notes, the um, creamy, sweet tobacco is still present. Then I picked up a moderate cedar note, and that's pretty much it. The the, the smoke is still um, arid, semi silky. It's just a very slow burning cigar. As you can see, I had to actually step away a few times. Uh, to go inside the house and I came back and it was still lit perfectly lit. It's a very s slow burning cigar um, I did read that this uh, shape and the blend itself was designed um, To have a very cool burning smoke. So it's working uh, warp cigars. Oh I forgot to mention this cigar comes out of um, um, Little Havana in Florida uh, Titan de Bronze uh, tobacco factory so yeah so let me keep keep on smoking this cigar past the second third and I'll be back for welcome back I'm at the end of the second third of this black honey and as you can see the ash is gorgeously stacked nice white ash the burn line is still just a bit wavy it's a lot better than the first third have not touched it up at all Smoke production is still good. Retro hail is just a bit stinging in the sinus. Um, as far as flavors are concerned, it's still a sweet, creamy profile. Uh, however, uh, no more cedar, but I am getting a delectable chocolate note and uh, underlying pepper note. So, uh, let me take advantage uh, to tell you guys about uh, a little bit about my uh, favorite cigars of 2023. I did not post the video uh, just because I started reviewing cigars on YouTube late in the year, but I did smoke throughout the year. Um, of the most memorable, 
Um, it would be the La Flor Dominicana Lenoir. Um, Ferry Otego Prestige. Perdomo 10th Anniversary Champagne. Um, La Roma de Cuba Mi Amor Reserva. Warped Upper Realm. And La Paulina. The Paulina, I think it was a Maduro. So yeah. Uh, also, um, I did take this cigar straight out of the uh, out of the box uh, last night, and so it's only been dry, dry boxing for about one day. So because of that, I would say it's performing exceptional. All right, let me smoke this down to the end of the cigar, and I'll be back. Welcome back. I'm at the end of this black honey cigar. As you can see, the burn line, I would say this is razor sharp. So it performed very well. Um, by the way, it just ashed before this take. Smoke, smoke production, I would say, improved quite a bit in the last third. Um, the retro hail. It's just moderately stinging on the sinus. Um, as far as flavors, I'm getting a um, honey mesquite barbecue flavor here at the end with a, um, like a roasted peanut profile. Pepper's gone. However, there is a little bit of a kick of a nicotine fiat there at the end here. Um, <clears throat> so, overall, uh, there was some layers of hard draw, and I believe that is due to the cigar being rolled by expert Cuban rollers. And as many have you, many of you have experienced, um, you know, Cuban cigars. <laughs> Are usually well packed and um, from my experience uh, sometimes have like a like a hard draw on them uh, so yeah but it does have a semi complex profile um, I believe that it will definitely definitely improve on the draw uh, if you give it some rest um, I do like that the cigar is very smooth throughout. Um, you know, uh, I never wanted to like give up on it or nothing like that. It's just the smoothness just really attracted me. So I definitely will uh, give the other ones a lot of rest. Um, so uh, I would say that because it's a limited release, um, um, there's speculation that the next release is gonna be from six years from now. So I would say that pick yourself up at least a five pack. Um, if you're patient like me, get yourself a box, but um, the rating today would be a five pack at least. <clears throat> and I'm looking forward to uh, smoking this at the end of this year and see how it improves again thanks for watching and don't forget to like comment and subscribe and hope you guys have a great beginning of the 2024